In this video, I'm going to describe what the SharePoint ribbon is and how we can use it. So the SharePoint ribbon is a contextual toolbar. And by that, what I mean is um, what it shows and displays depends on what you're actually doing within the site. So the easiest way to show how this works is to use a document library. So if I click on the title of my document library here, shared documents on this uh, landing page, that will open the document library view and now you'll see along the top here we have some tabs um, we've got a tab heading there that says library tools and then we've got two sub tabs document documents and library and this has appeared because we're working in a document library so if I click on the documents tab that shows me all the options I have for my documents so I can create a new document I can upload a, a document I can email a link to a, a document and to do that I need to select one first so I could select one and click email a link that will open Outlook with a link to the uh, the document. There we are. So I go back to my site. I can uh, configure some alerts. So decide that I want to be alerted when something happens to this particular document. I can download a copy of it and send it to several locations. So another location within the site. Um, I can also um, put, initiate a workflow on the the document or at the right here tag it. As described in the uh, the my sites video, um, if I was to click on the library tab there, then we have options for the entire document library. So we could email a link to the actual document library, configure alerts for the document library, um, create an RSS feed uh, for the document library. So that will take you to a page with an RSS feed, and um, which we can put into an RSS viewer, and um, which will show you changes to the document library. We can uh, connect it to Office so that it appears as a location to save to from um, from our Office applications. We can connect it to uh, Outlook so it appears in our folder list. Export the list to Excel or also open with Explorer. If I click on that, it will present us with a view of the uh, documents uh, in Windows Explorer. Um, and there's also some options uh, customizing customizing the uh, one part the uh, document library. And on the right here, there we have it opening an Explorer view. Um, and on the right here, we can change, if we have the correct settings, we can change the library settings, uh, change the permissions, and perform workflow settings on the uh, library. So that is really how the ribbon works. And it appears and changes depending on what you're doing. So if, for example, I went to the home page, I went to site actions, edit page. Now you see we've got a ribbon here for the editing tools for the page and elements we can insert in there so it really depends and changes on what you're currently doing and working on in the site so that's an overview of the sharepoint ribbon and how it works